Hi there, this is a short introductory video to explain the aspirations and ideology behind free movement. Free movement is a political movement, not a political party, which is a major distinction that you need to understand. Now, what I'd like to do is to ask you now to do four very, very simple things. These things may be simple, but they are not easy. First, we'd like to ask you to engage in what is called creative this dissent. The second thing we'd like you to do is stop doing what you are doing or what you think you should be doing. The third one is to consider joining the yeah, movement. This is a movement okay. which is a, so, uh, has a, 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 a history of ideology, it has a wisdom, it has esoteric knowledge, and it has a proven track record to affect real and meaningful change. And the fourth thing then that will come out of these first three is to give you the opportunity and ability to retake your country. Retake your country from whom and for what? Well, if you look behind me here, you will see these gates. These gates are at number 10 Downing Street, where this video is coming from today. The police are here, obviously, to protect the people who inherit the seat of power, which is lodged behind here at number 10. So, this is something that we need to consider retaking, and I'd ask you to join with us in the ability and the ideology behind Re movement to actually retake and bring some sanity back into this asylum, which has been wrapped around you by the political elite and moneyed interest. So, what is Re movement and who's behind it? Re movement is a group of collective individuals, people of like mind, who have come together who've had enough of the strictures of statutory control, the Stalinist statutory strictures that control you from everything you do from the morning till the evening. It's imposed by a regime. And this regime operates here at the number 10 down in the So when we ask you to consider retaking the country, we're not asking you to consider a regime change in Iran, not a regime change in Syria, not a regime change in South America or anywhere else, but a regime change here in this very country. And the regime that we need to look to change is encapsulated here in this building behind us known as Number 10 Downing Street. So, these people who inherited this uh, office for the past 500 years have bought nothing other than war, poverty, destruction, distress, and all sorts of mayhem and uh, upheaval to the world. Through the British Empire right the way up until those people involved in the uh, war in Iraq, uh, the wars in Syria and so on. So, this is a gulag that has been wrapped around a gulag of lying, corrupt, moneyed interests and it is your ruination. Every single thing we would suggest to you that is possibly imaginable about your society is currently wrong. It's corrupt, it's crony, and it's phony. And it's a total shambles. Many of you know it, many of you feel it, many of you smell it in your day-to-day -day dealings. As you take out the trash, as you actually pay your taxes, you can see that we would advise, we would recommend that democracy is as dead as disco. It's a socially engineered cul-de-sac. It's the Britain's Got No Talent X Factor sideshow. It's showing you any bullshit that you want to believe and saying everything is fine, just keep on carrying on. You're living a lie. So Remove suggests now it is time to have you know and understand the truth. You are living, in effect, in an elective dictatorship. An elect elective dictatorship, which is one party, two colour system. It is all engineered and run out of a cabinet office here, which meets around about two to three times a week. This is a 13 man uh, coterie, a clique of individuals that dictate the policy and directions that the country will take. In turn, these individuals are given this advice by what's called the mandarins of Whitehall and the banking moneyed interests that are your, in effect, owners. You're in effect run by the White Shoe Boys, uh, a Westminster parliamentary club bought and paid for by the bankers. A parliamentary club of which the chief executive officer here, David Cameron, who sits there in number 10, uh, is the chief executive officer who runs the largest corporation in the country and possibly in the world. He doesn't even know how to spell his name, but he's in charge of the country. The biggest corporation on the block is Westminster PLC, and 
there are three pillars of this organization that have been compromised. These three pillars are the judiciary, the legislature, and the executive. These should be the three pillars that protect society and a democracy. However, when they're all compromised by monetary interests, where everything is monetized from the time you wake in the morning to the time you go at night, from parking to school fees to education, everything has been monetized by these corporate pirates in Downing Street. So, what we're looking to do is invoke something called the polarity principle. When the social contract between a government and the people has been violated, then it is your responsibility, it's your social, legal, moral and philosophical obligation to do something about it. So, in effect, the country is going to be split in two. We need to apply catalyst. The corporations fleece you, they shear you until you bleed. What you are, in effect, being governed by is the mafia in suits. Everything is just a monetized unit of account. So, in effect, if you're sick and tired of the way that the lying, deceitful parliamentarians treat you, if you're fed up with more austerity for you and more goodies and expense accounts for them, then what I would suggest is, equally, if you're fed up of a 60-hour working week with zero hours contract, if you're fed up with the way that the lying politicians no longer listen to you and happen for some time, then we would consider a very plausible outcome to this is to join re-movement. Join re-movement now where our ideological streetwear, wear the rune, stamp the rune on the documents, please join with us and together we will ensure that we retake the country and bring some sanity back into this asylum. Thank you.